Well, good evening, everybody. I hope you can hear me okay. I thought I would share making donuts with you at a soap. This is Milton Bore soap, by the way. So, what I've done, those who've been all bored, running me running backwards and forwards, because obviously Milton Bore was a little bit. Stressful. So I mixed, um, um, mixed, yeah, well, I mixed the fragrance oil. I'm using cocoa mango and I'm using pink mica. All the ingredients in this soap is from soaprochford.co.uk. And I thought I'd make these. I was inspired by Eden Secret one, Karen. I can't remember, or I'm not sure how to pronounce her surname to be fair. Morden, Morden, Horden, what, something like that. and add alcohol, gets rid of all the bubbles. I've never made actually sort of anything too enthusiastic, but I was inspired by one of her videos. I didn't think she'd done it a year ago, but if you go on to Eden Secret 1, and her name's Karen, then yeah please like check her out because she's amazing she does so much like you just wouldn't believe the art that goes into her soaps thank you to everybody that has subscribed i do really appreciate it i don't even know what that one's doing that one. but the knack is to wait for these to cool down they won't take long probably 10 minutes and then redo them and then I'll be back. I don't want to bore you too much. Because obviously it's bank holiday. Everybody is like sort of chilling. I don't get much time to do a lot. I'm trying to get a business up and running. And um, the only thing with Milton Floor is it goes, it cools down quite quickly. So I've been doing it by the jug. So obviously you don't want it to burn. But yeah, I think it's all going to be hopefully looking good. And you don't have to wait 24 hours like the, um, the home process soap or whatever they call it. Cold process, and it? Not home, no. I'd like to try that, but as I said before, I'm not, you know, that would just, I think, take a lot of time up. But hopefully in the future. I'll, I'll be able to do it but I'll just pause this for now and then when they're dry I'll come back to you and then I'll redo them you know to like put I want to put a middle in them I'm not holding I don't know how they're going to turn out it's the first time I've ever done it and it's the first time I've ever used this mold but you can like I don't know if you can see look it's starting to set already so and as I said, it's cocoa mango, and it's uh, obviously milk and pour, and it's um, a little bit of mica. And let's hope, fingers crossed, yeah? And anyway, I hope you all had a good Easter, and you know, you've got lots of chocolate. I've got absolutely none. But then I had my four-year-old granddaughter here and we bought her like little eggs to go on an Easter egg hunt. So we spent all day, obviously we pugged up like hid 10 of them. I said do 10, there's like 40 in a box. And then I don't know how she got more, but we ended up spending the day hiding them, going back and finding them, 
and that is the day rehiding finding rehiding but she loved it and that's all that matters isn't it anyway i won't bore you too much but as I said, thank you to everybody that subscribed. I do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I'll be back soon. So I'm not sure I'm pouring it. I need to pour it. Is that one poured? Yeah. Welcome back. I'm just getting these out. I've just added some blue, neon blue. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's finishing here. I'll put it in the description anyway. I've added some neon blue. So it's got like a, it's a really nice purple colour to be fair. The sun came down. Because he was hungry, so I banged him from this side of the kitchen. I'm just letting this sort of blend together. So it's going to be so I can put it in the middle of these donuts. It looks flat on that side. And you can see, and then on that side, I actually might pipe some in the middle. See how adventurous I am. But literally they didn't take long at all to dry <coughs> or oh, not to dry but you know to set I think I'm still in washing mode I'm trying to get washing four days off not really got much further forward no chip one it's a nice colour purpley blue I'm just going to smush it on put them together to set I'll put some rubbing alcohol on the back just to loosen it up so it does set but it's getting a little bit harder a little bit of a croaky voice so I do apologise for that. Right. Oh, it's, it's like it's getting quite thick now. So I have to act quickly. Oh shit, I mean Maybe Milton, uh, not Milton pours the way he pours for this starting. How did it affect just so quick? So I, I do like Milton. I'm just going to bung that in the microwave again. Right, just to loosen it up. This is not what to do. <laughs> I love making soap sponges. It takes two minutes to make soap sponges.
what I'm going to do is just use a little um, corner of effect. Got the jam oozing out the donut. Yeah, I like that look actually. The one do it now. Jam oozing out the donut. Obviously, it's not jam, so please don't eat it. <laughs> I've only made a few because obviously I've not done it before. But hey, that's the good thing about experimenting. Well, I'm just going to turn you off a minute so I can just go and find. Well, not turn you off, just pause you for a minute. I'm hoping, yeah, I think it is. I'm hoping. Alright, so I'm just putting some drizzle on them. And then I'm going to fill up the hole with more soap. I think these really go together, these colours really look lovely. I love pink and blue. Obviously, this is like a purpley blue, it's not like a. Oh, I love the pink. I'll put all the links in the description. Trouble is when you use it, you buy bets, mate. They are seriously gonna clog up. 